YouTube welcome back to another Windows tutorial so today I'm going to show you how to block a program from running on your computer so for whatever reason that you have to keep your kids from playing the games or going onto the internet or just keeping those malicious spyware programs from launching onto your computer I'm going to show you how to do it in a very simple fashion but before I do that I want to show you a quick thing I have it's called a questionnaire it's a YouTube channel schedule questionnaire I'd like it if you guys can go ahead and help me fill this out because I'm trying to pick a particular day on which I want to go ahead and create videos, but I don't want it to be up to me. I want it to be up to you. So it's your vote. It's in the power of your mind to go ahead and pick the days that you want to see the videos that you enjoy. Um, the thing is, I made this a month ago. I only have 19 responses. So if you can help me out, and if you are subscribed to this channel, it'd be perfect if you can. But in any case, let's go ahead and get back to this video and this tutorial. It's called Simple Run Blocker 1.0. It's a little summary about what it can do, a couple things that what you can do within it, like the hotkey shortcuts, and also the download link. So if you can, go ahead and download it. Once you do, save it to your desktop for easy access. It'll be in a zip file, and you can also extract it using the Windows Explorer. And then once you have that, go ahead and run it. It'll be ran onto your computer, and you have two options. You can either search it out with the plus by going to add to list, or over here you can just pick a program that is either on the desktop or inside a directory, and just click on it, drag it over to here, and then it'll be blocked. Um, it's currently defaulted at number two block only the list below. Also, it has another option that says block all except the list below and also disable blocking. Number three would be more in terms of if you have a bunch of programs that you do block, it would be best that you just disable them if you want to. Also, number one can be a little iffy depending on what it particularly blocks, so I just keep in mind just to have everything on number two. Um, another option you can to use it is by pressing the plus sign to add a program to the list. Let's just say if you find a .exe program and you don't want to be used, just press it and press open and then it'll be blocked and added to that list. And in order to go ahead and save these settings, all you have to do is just press the save settings and then exit the program. If you want, you can go ahead and refresh your explorer, but that's not necessary as the site says to do. And that's pretty much it. This program is pretty simple. It has nothing else that you need to do other than running it and adding the program to the list by just dragging and dropping. So if you guys like this video, if you like the program, use it to your advantage. And until next time.